That's what it is, man. Gangsta Grills. One album, bam. Yeah. Another album, bam. Yeah, that's right. How do you feel putting these albums on? It's crazy for you. It's, you know, it's a, it's a blessing. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? It's the it's a lot of hard work and dedication from a lot of people. And you know what I mean? Including my team, affiliates. Shout out to my man, a lot of dark man. Yeah, definitely. Sense, Willie the Kid. You know, as much as all the artists and producers and, you know, everybody that gets involved to do these albums. So, you know, it, it's, it, it really is just a blessing for me, man. I'm, I'm glad to be in my position, in my space. And, you know, it just it, it makes me keep strive to keep on working. What's your favorite part of the process? Making the records, like dealing with the artists? Is it picking the beats? Is it, you know, putting the album cover together? What's your favorite part of the process? Probably, probably a lot of the, my favorite is once, you know, the song starts coming together. Because it's, it's basically like making a sandwich. You know yeah. what I mean? And you have your bread and your lettuce and your turkey and... You know, you, you bring it all together. So, you know, we sit down and we go through the beats and, you know, figure out the concept for the song. And, you know, I just know the feeling that I got, you know, when when uh, when Akon, you know, sent me Daydream. And I, I wasn't actually there with him. I it was in I was in Caravana in Toronto. And he sent it to me right after I had smashed the party. And, you know, I was up all night just listening to the song over and over again. So, you know, that feeling right before of it gets to the world and, you know, you I get to listen to it and, and I know what's coming is always exciting. Can I play that right now? Let's you already know, man, Daydreaming, Gangsta Grills 2, in stores right now. That's right. Drama's in the building. I'm here, DJ Drama, Mr. Thanksgiving. Twitter me right now, people, at DJ Drama. Yeah, Twitter's crazy for you? Oh, yeah. Nah, Twitter's a, is a, is a great piece of uh, uh, technology. Do you ever feel like you're overexposed? At times, it all depends on how you use it, you know? I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, you have to be careful with. But um, in today's day and time, you know, with, with where we're at, I mean, it's hard to, to really be overexposed, you know what I mean? Because, you know, the consumer, you know, the the, the, the normal fan or the kid at home, you know, they, they, they want to be fed, you yes. know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the world we live in right now. So, right. you know, you got to give them as much as possible. But, you know me, I, I like to go at my own pace, you know what I mean? My own space. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't go crazy all over the internet on, on a world star. Or, but, you know, but I have enough, you know, in front of me that, you know what I mean, I like to put out, you know what I mean, just 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 good good things. It's easy to get sucked into it and get addicted Definitely. to it and go. Yeah, and you're in the course. club and this girl dancing and you're and what am I doing? Put yeah, the thing course. in your pocket. You know nah, what I mean? I think they just came up with a new uh, word. What was it called? To addicted or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know what I mean? But I mean, it's all about how you use it. So you know, well, what I'm interested in, what's next, and I, I want to get down with that. You know what I mean? You miss the old days of the mixtapes? Um, definitely. I definitely miss the old days of the mixtape. And and then I gotta ask you what. Which old old days are you talking about? You, you're the prime, though. Before, like, there's a before and after point. There's, like, a <laughs> moment in history. We've got the towers went down. We got Morocco. <laughs> we, 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 we got MJ passing. And then we got your your situation. Yeah. I remember that day. Yeah. Like, yo, it's never going to be the same. Yeah. Uh, and, and it hasn't. You know, I mean, there's still, the mixtape game still exists. You know what I mean? There's definitely still some key players and, you know, some things happening in it. But I, it, it hasn't been the same since then. And, and you know, I missed that time before then. I, I just missed the, you know, the excitement of 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 what mixtapes represented for hip hop. But the ironic part about the situation is, I wonder where we would be if that didn't happen. Because it almost felt like, you know, for those who don't know, you know, I think it was like January sixteenth, two thousand seven. Yes, you know, my my studios got raided. Uh, uh, the, the feds came, locked me up for a uh, bootleg and a racketeering. Said I was, um, you know, doing just that. When of course everybody knows I was making mixtapes along with the artists, along with the labels. But then around that same time, you know, the blogs and the internet really started to take over. So mm -hmm. it almost was like hand in hand, you know, the situation happened with me. So a lot of people scattered from the mixtape world and then the internet really took precedent in right. breaking new music, you know, at the same time. So it was just, a, it was a crazy effect. But I, I will say that if you look at that year in 07, you know, the only real artist to really break out, in my opinion, was Soldier Boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and and, uh, and every year before that, for the last you know seven, eight, nine years, mixtapes have had so much of an effect from from Jeezy to Wayne to Ti to Fifty to yeah. you know even Clues albums and you know so forth and so forth. And 
And then here it was, and you know, there wasn't the mixtape game was never the same, like you said. Yeah, but you look at it now with Soldier Boy, he came through the YouTube. Of and course. now kids are coming through Twitter yeah, and the everywhere. Facebook and from Definitely. every angle. Definitely. And like me, I haven't pressed a handheld mixtape. Mm -hmm. Shot a lot of Dark Man Throw this right here, man. See, That's right. See, he's still going in, you know you what I mean? But, but I haven't pressed one, I've been doing a lot of downloads. Yeah. And, and it's like, yo, I, we did one, I think, an Eminem tape, this Etox tape I did, did. 200,000 downloads. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have pressed 200,000 and gotten to those people if I wanted to. And that's real. And I think I think all of it is necessary. I still think there's a, a lane for, you know, the hand-to-hand. -hand. I think, I mean, there's nothing like the internet. I mean, even my come up, if you look at when I came up through through mixtapes and everything, my come up was a, it was different from the guy, from the doo -ops and the clues and the case slays because, yeah. you know, I had things like mix unit. I had the internet where you, people could go from all walks of life and go on there and, you know, really get to Gangsta Grills yeah. faster than, you know, the early, the early 90s. The bodegas and the right cart in the mall. You could exactly. go and boom, mix unit and had everything. Exactly. So, you know, I, I definitely felt part of that come up. Yo, um, this is, you know, it, it's a pleasure to have you in the building. Most Holding definitely. down from Minnesota. Most definitely. Coming out here, showing a lot of love, yeah. man. Any shout outs? Oh, man, just sh shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to the whole affiliates, AMG, Willie Kid, be on the lookout for it. A lot of dark, man, be on the lookout for it, man. Holla at me, man. On Twitter right now, DJ Drama Gangsta Girls Volume 3 on the way. You know what it is. Yo, Lock, come here, man. You good, man? Yeah. Yo, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, the, you're doing the management thing behind yeah, the scenes yeah. and doing the artist thing. Ben yeah. doing the artist thing, rolling yeah. with drama for ten years. Yeah, yeah. still doing it. New mixtape yeah. coming soon. Yeah, with mixtape coming soon. We, you know, we got the living notoriously in stores right now. We got the new tape coming soon. Lad, like we got the album coming. Lot of dark man. Embassy Entertainment, SRC Universal. Shout out to Steve Rifkin. Like we working, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I just I like executive producing. You know, Gangsta Grills one, Gangsta Grills two, Willie the Kid, Absolute Greatness. You know, like so now I'm just gonna put it in. You know, what I'm saying on a lot of dark man side. You feel me? Yo, what was it about this dude that made you having a career, being down with Wu Tang and stuff? What was it about him that made you want to work with him? I mean, drama is, a, is like ambition and, and really like a hustler's ambition. Like when you put work in, you know what I'm saying, and like with a person that, that can match the drive that you're trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Because like we got a lot of drive. So when you combine it, it's like it's crazy. Like our team is crazy from Trendsetter Sense, Willie the Kid, Mac V12, yeah. Drama, you know, Gangster Grills, Embassy Entertainment, Affiliates Music Group, Affiliates Management. Like, you know, we do a lot of different things, you know what I mean? From KFC endorsements to Pepsi endorsements right. to, you know, you know, like different type of reactions reality shows we working on so like really it's drive you know what I mean like when you can match drive like Jordan or Pippen or Shaq and Kobe or Shaq and LeBron now you dig what I'm saying yeah, so it's like you no know, it's like everybody wanting to win so, so it was good. no it was no problem just running with them yeah it's no problem it's no problem like I said little bro you know what I'm saying they all went to school together you know what I mean everybody is educated you dig what I'm saying yeah, yeah. intelligent so when we put together for one common cause you see what happens you know when we get like like top 20 records in the country like the daydreaming record Akon Snoop and T.I. and you know Big, other things you know 5,000 ones and Feds taking pictures, you feel me? Yeah, definitely, man. Let's work, man. You A lot know. of dark, man, in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twin City, I'm here, baby. We rocking. Yeah, it's love, man. Shout out to my man Drama. It's going down, yeah. man. We good.